To remove the A-pillar trim on this Toyota Corolla, I'll disconnect the negative battery cable first to disable the airbag system. Once it's disconnected, it's important to wait 5 minutes for the airbag capacitor to fully drain. Now I'll start by removing the door seal and I'll gently reach underneath and pull it down. And now I will carefully pull the top of the trim out and it should come out about 1 inch. Now the clip underneath should be visible and to disengage it, I'll turn it so that the end of the hook is pointing towards the back of the car. Note that there's an airbag that's located just below the clip, so it's important to avoid using sharp objects to avoid damaging the airbag. I'll use my index fingers to turn the clip, and once it's aligned, it should pop right out. Here's how I turned it one more time. This is the driver's side, so I turned it clockwise 90 degrees, and the passenger side will have to be turned counterclockwise. If the clip doesn't turn easily, a pair of pliers with protective tape can also be used to turn it to avoid scratching the airbag. Once the clip at the top is disengaged, the clip in the middle should have also released as well, and now to remove it, I will pull it up to disengage the tabs on the bottom. And here's the back of the trim. It has two clips that hold it in, and the tabs that fit into the dash. Now we have access behind the trim, and if a wire is going to be added here, it's very important to route it properly to avoid interfering with the airbag's deployment path. So let's go ahead and reinstall the trim now. I'll start by pointing the hook towards the windshield, which will help it to fit back in easier. Now line up the tabs on the bottom into the slots on the dashboard. And once they line up, it should fit right in. To re-engage the clip, I'll pull the hook back and push the trim back on, making sure the tip of the hook fits all the way through, otherwise it won't be able to turn. And now, turn it back to the original position. Now to re-engage the clips, I'll press the trim back down, and I'll press the door seal back into place. When reconnecting the battery, I'll make sure not to over-tighten the terminal, and I'll give it a tug to make sure it's on tight. If you liked this video, please make sure to press the like button, and consider subscribing, your support is really appreciated. Thanks for watching!